Welcome back everyone, it's Mark, I'm here hanging out in my office. I wanted to discuss something, it's for all the uh, eBay uh, buyers and sellers. I got a good tip for those that are, um, who, who like to sell on eBay and um, who are worried about their feedback score and their, and their reviews. Now, about a couple of months ago, I had bought this huge quantity of products that uh, I thought were pro well, they are profitable, but I thought they were um, they were going to be a good item to sell, and they sold, but a lot of customers weren't happy. Uh, they uh, they were leaving me bad reviews, and um, but I didn't really know what was going on until I started investigating. What I'm trying to say is your feedback score and your product review is two totally different things. Now, if a customer buys a product from you, um, let's say they buy a toothbrush from you um, and you ship it out, everything goes well. And then about the following day, uh, when they receive it, they give you a bad feedback score. And you know how everyone starts off with 100% feedback, you know, your name, 100%. Now, if somebody leaves you a bad feedback score, it drops down to 99.6 or 99.2, whatever the case may be. I always had 100% and then it dropped down due to this one specific item that I had purchased a high volume of. And I, it's a 50-50, uh, some people love it, some people hate it. Those that did not like it, I was refunding them. Um, others had no problem, they were leaving me good product reviews. But then there were others that um, didn't even bother contacting me. They were just leaving me a bad feedback. So I dropped down from 100.0 to 99.6 on my first bad uh, feedback. It was um, cheap quality. All right, I let that pass. And then somebody sent me another message. Uh, somebody left me another feedback score and it dropped down to... Uh, 99.2 and it was um didn't last long did not work and then somebody else left me another one and by the time a third person left me a bad feedback score i started freaking out i'm like shoot i bought this high, this high quantity of products um to sell and i sold already a lot anybody that i already bought from here are gonna leave me a bad feedback score I'm like, oh man, this is it, I'm ruined. eBay's gonna kick me out, they're gonna delete my account because I'm getting so many, so many bad feedback scores. But then I came to realize when I investigated the feedback system, the rating and how it works. And then I noticed about the product review system. So I contacted eBay and sure enough, they removed my feedback score. Yeah, I had at that time I had 89 point, I want to say 89.6 and they removed all of them because they weren't following the feedback uh, system. So here's what I'm going to try to say. I'm going to hopefully you guys are listening. Hopefully you guys can take advantage of this and contact your eBay customer service. So let's say you sold something, let's just say a perfect example, you sold a toothbrush and a customer didn't like it. They received it, it's just a cheap, the bristles came out, cheap product, I don't like it. If they give you a bad feedback score, and let's say they give you a one star with that comment and it says cheap product, you can get that removed because the feedback system rating, the way it works is they're supposed to give you a feedback rating of your service the way you the way you handled customer service, the way you uh, responded to them, the way you shipped out, how fast you shipped out the product, or when they had a problem, they contacted you and the way you handle it. That is the way you give a rating on the feedback score, not because of the product. If they somebody didn't like the product that they bought from you, oh, the uh, batteries died within two days, or um, that again, the bristles weren't uh, came off, or the wheel, the the color paint chipped, or whatever. That's called a product review. 
and where they leave a product review is if you go to a if you go to a listing, you know, let's say you look for an item, and on that item on the side of the image it says five star, four star, three star, that's the product review. And if you click on it, anyone that had purchased leaves a review regarding that product. Oh, I didn't like it because of that such and such such. But they're not allowed to give you that type of review on your feedback score. So I'm uh, I'm over here freaking out, thinking, oh my god, that's it, I'm ruined eBay's gonna delete my account because I keep getting bad feedback scores. Again, I had 100 and it dropped from 99.6, 99.2, and I think it dropped down to 89.6 or something like that. And it freaked me out because now I'm like, you know, I'm here trying to work very hard. I'm trying to get good products. I mean, I took advantage of a product that wasn't that expensive and I started flooding the market with it and people were buying it because I was lowballing. I was putting it on a low cost because I got them dirt cheap. And um, I learned my lesson um, that I don't like having products that have bad product review. If I have an item that I'm selling and it has one star, I'm gonna try to flush it out or I'm just gonna try to delete that listing. I don't want those type of products on my name, on my number NYC account. Um, but now if you look at my number NYC account, and if you look at the feedback score, it says 100.0. That's the way it should be because I always answer my customers' questions. If you add, if you message me a question within five to ten minutes, I'm gonna respond. That's just the way I like to work. Um, if you buy a product from me, I'm shipping it out most likely the same day, depending on the time. If it's after four o'clock Eastern time, I might squeeze it in. If not, it goes the next day. But most of the time, I ship the same day. Um, and customers like that, so they're always giving me great feedback score. So if you get an item, if you get a bad feedback score and it doesn't involve anything as you as a seller, and it just says something about your product, call customer service, they can delete it for you. Um, I've done that already twice already. So the one time, one phone call, they were able to delete three in one phone call. And then. The second time, and then on about five days later, that same product, which I no longer sell because I deleted that, it was it was just a hassle. I don't want to constant, constantly keep calling customer service to delete a, a review that has nothing to do with my feedback. It has to do with the product review. So about, I'm sorry, about four or five days before the first time I called customer service, they deleted the three, the three bad reviews. And then, you know, about a couple of days later, I received the following um, last one. And that's when I came to realize I'm calling customer service to get that deleted because it doesn't it doesn't talk about my service. I I spoke gently to eBay. I told them my case. Um, they deleted it without a problem. But right there and then I came to realize I had to delete this listing because let's just say the listing a customer buys it that only talks about the product how crappy it is but then they mentioned my name or my account, my service, just saying they shipped fast, but the product was cheap. That eBay won't delete. Reason being is because they're leaving an opinion on my service. Cause the seller shipped fast, which is their opinion. They did, you know, they felt that I shipped fast, but they also added on the product was cheap. So that eBay won't delete because they mentioned my service. But if you get a if you get a review on your feedback score that does not mention your service, just cheap, just because of your product, it only mentions a product, you are able to get it deleted because it doesn't require to be there. It needs to be in the product review. I know I keep rambling and rambling and rambling. It's just that I have so much in my head, and now I'm back to the grind. I was on vacation. I took uh, my wife and I. We were on Vegas. We had took a trip to Vegas, just her and I. And then just last week, we had my kid's birthday party. He turned three. And now this following weekend, we're going to uh, Florida with the kids to uh, Universal Studios, probably taking to Daytona Beach. So just this whole month has just been, very, the past four weeks, it's been very hectic. Um, just been more busy, not hectic, because I haven't been putting a lot of work, but I have been dealing with a lot of customers, uh, eBay, customer service, um, I'm getting new products in. I think my last product that I video I mentioned was about the um, the uh, manufacturing company in Queens, Long Island City, New York. That's taken care of. Those are selling. 
now I have new products that I'm going to start uh, putting in video. But guys, thank you for my rant, but hopefully that's useful. Um, contact customer service and call, call them respectfully. Let them know that you received a bad review, a bad product review on your feedback review system. They're going to look at it, they're going to see it, and they're going to delete it. But just make sure you contact them respectfully and they'll treat you with respect. All right, guys, this is Mark. If you found this video useful, please leave me a like or um, or subscribe. It sounds cheesy, but yes, it helps. All right, guys, peace out.